Hey everybody, this is Oliver and you are watching another video about H5P. Um, today I want to help you if you try to embed H5P content into your website, but it simply won't show. And there actually may be multiple reasons for that, but I'm going to address the most common one, I guess, and it's called mixed content. So first let's have a look at how it is supposed to work. Okay, so let us assume that you want to use this content over here. And of course, you could download it and upload it to your system, but let's say that's not possible. So the other option that we have is we can click on embed and we see a snippet of code and we can copy it. And if we've done that, we can head over to our website. This is mine. And you may notice that this is a WordPress system, but it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you like, as long as you can embed some HTML code. And in WordPress, you would click on text and then you would simply paste the snippet that we copied before and then we can have a look and it works which is great and now we head over to a different website let's uh, jump over there and as you can see it also contains some h5p content that we might want to use so let's also grab this code snippet and then head back over to the other website there we are and now let's also try this one here just below and it doesn't show just the white area so what's the reason the reason is called mixed content as i said before and well what is mixed content and to answer that question let's go back to the code there it is and now you can see um there's a little difference over here here we have https and down here we have http and that's actually the problem the s indicates that um, the connection over here is secured so all the data that's transferred can't be read or modified by someone else and down here it could um that's not the next part the mix part comes in here so if we look at the url of my website it also has HTTPS in front. So uh, what are we trying to do? We have the secure content and down here we try to include some insecure content and browsers don't like that um, because what's the problem? So maybe someone typed in HTTPS and thinks he's on a secure website and maybe he wants to type in his uh, credit card number which I'd say is sensitive information and there, if there's um, insecure content, then this um, credit card number might go who knows where. So that's a problem. That's why browsers don't like that. And well, what can you actually do? Um, we could try to add an S manually over here. But let me tell you, in most cases, this won't work because uh, the server would have forwarded you anyway to the secure line. And yeah, looks a little different, but it doesn't work as well. And okay, there is some stuff called proxy that you could create, but that's really tricky and I don't want well, to um, yeah, overburden you if that's not really necessary. And the other thing uh, you could and should do if it's your server you're trying to embed something from, um, just update it to SSL. So teach the server your Apache or Jinx or whatever you're using to speak SSL um, so that it can handle the, the HTTPS protocol. No. But because that's double, uh, it's the um, it's secure hypertext transfer protocol. That's the correct one, and yeah, it's not that difficult. Um, I'll put some links in the description. There's a service called Let's Encrypt, which is pretty simple and free, and maybe you want to use it. So it's not a problem of H5P, but it's a general internet problem, I guess. So let's wrap up this episode. Enjoy H5P. Take care. Bye bye.